Hello everyone, welcome to Modern Chess Kids. Today I will show you the game played by Pavel and Paulius. The game starts as this e4, c6, c4, d5, e takes d5, c takes d5, and c takes d5, knight f6, knight c3, knight D knight takes d5 and and this is the first five move and you see the game is in the equal position and the black has a very strong knight in the center then white continue to play knight f3 knight c6 d4 e6 bishop c4 Bishop to b4, Queen to d3, castling, castling, and Bishop to e7. And in this is the first 10 move, and White has a solid better because White have a three pieces, while the Black have two pieces in the 16th square this is a 16th square inside so the game continue root to e1 bishop f6 knight to e4 knight c to e7 then now the white Changing the bishop to uh, many chance to attack the king. Knight capture six check, and knight capture f six, the knight again, and now you have a bishop to g five to take away the knight and to create a double pawn for the black so bishop to g5 then b6 played by the black and now white continue to move the knight to the center of the square and with this we have a many activity for the white so knight to e5 Bishop to b7, root a to d1, and you have more pieces to control the center. Then root to c8, and queen to h3, with the idea of attacking the h7 pawn. And black play. Knight f to d5 and here can you find what is the white strategy to win in this position? I give you a couple of seconds to figure out. Well, congratulations for those who found the answer and for those who like to enjoy. possible strategy that the white can play the brilliant move or the best move that the white can play to have a good strategy in winning the game is root to e4 and this is the strategy path for the root to go to e4, h4, and capture the pawn at h7, and the root to h8, and checkmate the
So to prevent this, Blade can play root capture c4. Then if a knight capture c4, then you have a queen to c7 attacking the knight. Then if you root to h4, then the queen can capture the knight. And if the rook capture the pawn, then the knight can go to h6, g6 and protecting the square and there will be no checkmate and white will be easily win by bacteria. So in actual game, after rook e4, black play f6 with the idea of fork the knight and bishop. And white continue to play an attacking move by playing great move of rook to h4 with the idea of attacking the pawn and sacrifice either of the knight or the bishop. And black continue to play by capture the bishop and here white have the idea of capture the h7 pawn black con and white continue to capture the pawn and here with the idea of rook to h8 checkmate because the knight is control the f7 square black play pawn to capture the knight to remove and so that the king have a place to escape for himself for example, king to f7, e8, and d7. However, after capture the pawn, is a blunder as white can checkmate the black king in 5. I give a couple of seconds to figure out. Well, congratulations for those who found the answer and for those who like to enjoy the show, here are the best moves the white can play. The brilliant move the white can play in this position is to control the king square by playing queen to h5. With this, it blocks the king to escape and basically the king have no way he can escape for himself so white play queen to h5 and with the idea of rook to h8 and checkmate so in the actual game the black play g6 to attack the queen however after queen moved to h6 black resigned as there is no way the black can prevent the queen to g7 and checkmate the king so if knight move to f5 and control the g7 square then the white can just capture the pawn because the pawn is not protected by any pieces and continue to checkmate the king so for example queen takes g6 
Knight to G7 and Queen capture G7 checkmate. If Black play Rook to capture or move away the Rook, Rook to F2, then the simple idea to checkmate is to Queen to G7 checkmate. And with this, thank you.